Hello guys, this is Likely Tech and today we are looking at an invoicing app called Invoice Simple. This is an app that you use to send quotations and invoices to your clients from your mobile phone. There is an iOS version and there is an Android version. There is also a web version for PC, very suitable for PC. Today we are looking at the iOS version and here is the app. So when you go into the app, takes you to the invoice section and uh, there is also an estimates section and there is a clients section we already have three clients sample clients and we have items these are the items that you sell and you have a report for all your reports so if you go to the invoices um, how do you create an invoice? So there's this uh, circled plus sign. When you click on it, it, it brings you to the where you create the invoice. So you can notice that the invoice is numbered. This is the format used. Uh, it is INV and four characters followed, uh, following it. Uh, there's a date section. So you fill in everything so today's client is jesse pinkman uh, you don't necessarily have to have the client in your list if you have a new client you can always input their details uh, and we can do that here for example uh, if you don't have the we can delete this uh, client so if you want to uh, to sell to a client who is not on our list you just click on the plus sign and we can have uh, Horatio Horatio Sons his email is uh, sons at uh, internet dot com uh, we have his phone number We have his mobile number so you do this for a client who is not on the list if you use a client who is on the list everything since you already have them on file it's going to add it automatically uh, he's old school he has a fax machine uh, he's uh we have address one he, this is uh where he lives address two and everything so there we have our, our first client so um, and the good thing about this app is that whatever you are doing on this application it's going to sync across all your devices if you have an android phone and you log in using the same uh, details your, whatever you do on your ios device reflects on the android device and also reflects on the on the web version so here we have uh, you can add an item uh, so the item we are selling is uh, los pollos fried chicken uh, is going to have uh, two and uh, another item we have is uh, these are items that are on that are already on our list but if you have a new item that you have not yet added to the list you can also uh, add them as you as you make the invoice so there's that and now we have the total and there's an option to mark it, the invoice as paid if the client pays you can mark it as paid but if you, they have not yet paid then you send it as is and there's the option to to see a preview now in the preview you can see this is exactly what the client will see when you send them so if you're satisfied with the invoice is the share option and it's going to be shared in PDF format so you, it will take you to your contact list and you can select the payment uh, the 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 
the application you want to share share with you can send via messages you can send via email via whatsapp whichever you're comfortable with uh, that is how you make an invoice and once you are done it's going to be saved now we have when we started we didn't have an invoice but now we have an invoice so we can do the same for the estimates now maybe a client wants you to do a quotation for them you do the same it's very it's a very similar uh, approach to the invoice uh, because but now the uh, formatting is different because now you see instead of INV we have QTN this is a uh, what we use but uh, by default is EST but for me I prefer using QTN and everything is there so you have you can add uh, your plans and you can see when we started we didn't have the client Horatio Sons but since we already created a, an invoice and established a relationship now they are in our client, client list this time you can do uh, an estimate for Jesse Pinkman and uh, you can do an estimate for he has a wedding maybe we want him to have uh, 100 Los Poyos chicken and that's it uh, now once you send them the estimate and they they like it then instead of making an invoice you can make uh, you can come to the bottom of the estimate you can make it an invoice instead of having to do the invoice all over again so once you go back now we have a, an estimate on our, on our list so clients when you want to create a new a new client this is everything you need all their details their client name their email their phone number everything you can also import them from contacts if they are already in your contacts then uh, we have the items this is where you add all the items that are in your shop or in your business and we have the reports this is where we have a problem with this application this is the only application uh, this is the only problem i've seen in this application where i've already changed the currency in my app but it's always showing me when i come to the reports it always shows me in in dollars instead of the currency that I have set up which is Kenya shillings uh, so other than that I've not seen any other problem so if you go to the settings uh, there is the support and I would like to say that their support is uh, very quick they have very quick uh, responses and they seem to understand the problems I've contacted them several times and uh, uh, their response time is not more than five minutes so kudos for that now if you want to change your business details instead of uh, ha not having to change them every time you send an invoice this is where you set up everything you have your business logo you have your business name you have the business owner's name you have the business phone number you have the address business address you have three options and you have the business email you have the uh, business phone number is the business mobile number and you have the business website so once you set that up it's going to be used in every invoice and, and every estimate and you have the payment instructions this is where you put in your uh, banking information if you want to be paid via paypal the option is there if you want to be paid by check the option is there and if you want to be paid via bank transfer that is where you put in your bank details and uh, this is where you set up your tax if you're selling if your goods are taxable this is where you set, you set up the tax so for us we use the on on the total uh, there are three of there are several several options you have the on the total deducted and per item but i prefer to tax on the total and uh, this is where you put the label for us, uh, the tax that applies is VAT, which is uh, the rate is 16%. So some for some items, if the tax is inclusive, you activate uh, the icon there. But for us, it's not inclusive; it's but exclusive. So and then you have the default notes. Uh, if uh, you have a note that you want to go with the 
invoices and with the estimates this is where you set them up for the invoices this is where you put your default note for the estimates this is where you put your default note then we have the this is where you can change the what we call the formatting for the invoice number if you want to change how the if you want to change the formatting these are for for now it's INV if you wanted to say something else you can change that maybe it can be VTE and you have that you can change that uh, at any time that you want then there's the option to export as a spreadsheet this is where you can export all all your reports everything that you have done the invoices the quotations which what is paid what is not paid you can compile them into a spreadsheet which you can use open using excel then this is where you customize for the title if you want the invoice to read something else maybe you want it to read uh, maybe you want it to be inv instead of invoice this is where you change it but I don't see why you would want to change it from what it is. So the invoice title is uh, invoice and the estimate title you can have it as estimate or you can have it as quotation which we do. Uh, the business number you can have maybe your pin number or business registration number. So that's where you put it. So as you can see um, you it synchronize uh, anytime you make a change it's going to synchronize and as you can see here last synced at zero seconds ago and you can also customize to the region that you are in so you can change the language that you want there, there are those uh, all the language options that you have there they are and you can change the currency there are all those currency options that you have well, and also you can change the date format i myself prefer to use the day first day month and year and uh, so that is everything that uh, uh, you need to know about the application so once you make any change it needs to restart and i think we've covered everything that we need on the uh, no so on the invoice if you go, go back to the invoice we have the option to sign the invoice once you click on signature you can be able to sign the invoice before you send it so now you can see it says signed on that date and if the client pays you can mark it as paid so that is all for the app and you can see once it's signed the signature is there and on the date that you signed it so that is all for invoice simple thanks for watching and if you like the video give it a like share it and for more content like this subscribe to the channel Till next time, see you.